Welcome to part 7 of Quest for Glory 1, So You Want to Be a Hero. And this time we're gonna use those potions we got from the healer to actually train up a bit against the monsters of the world. And we're gonna sneak around for a bit, just to get that sneak skill up while we're playing. <laughs> and as you can see, you're walking pretty frenziedly when you're okay here we are now we'll just wait for the goblins to enter oh drink healing potion the drink soothes you soothes you as it goes down and there we have some health points drink bigger potion the drink is invigorating. So we got all of our stamina back and most of our health. Now, we could start the fight by casting a flame dart at the monsters, but we don't have enough spell points for that. So, we just have to start bashing them down. Hopefully, I'll be able to kill it before it kills me. Yeah, there we go. You killed a goblin, and his buddy comes in, oh, I dodged that, oh, I didn't dodge that, oh, uh, yeah, we'll just bash him, like so. Um, then I go next to the nearest corpse and search the body. Yes, loot and pillage. There's another body here. Careful as to not leave the screen. Oh! So yeah, he didn't have anything. He didn't even have lunch money. That's kind of sad. And it's midday, but I'm still... Still kind of wussy. My weapon use got up. My dodge went up a bit. Drink healing potion. Um, yeah, so I just spent 8 gold on training, and what did I get? Um, no, actually, I spent 10 gold, because Vigor, or what was the Vigor potions? I think they were 20 gold, uh, uh, 20 silvers, and the healing potions were 40 silvers apiece, so that's 10 gold. 10 gold spent, and very little accomplished. However, this is... Hmm, I just might die. This is the only way to actually raise the ve weapon skills, and eventually these goblins will start to crop up, and they'll start dropping more money than I'm spending. So, it's an investment. Oh, he just ran into me. He didn't do much. There we go. Yeah, kill him, kill him, kill him dead. Um, basically, I'm just mashing the button for thrust. I can't be bothered dodging, since this is pretty much the most efficient way to kill goblins. They don't do much. They sometimes whack with their little mace, sometimes they miss, just as I do. And sometimes they hit. But this is actually the bona fide way to kill them fast. I hope he doesn't hit me, because I die if he does. Yeah, there we go. Cutting it close, but they're all dead. And now the rest of them won't bother me. Hmm, sneaky sneak. Search the body. Eight silvers. Okay. That's something. Now, next one. Four, so that's twelve silvers. Hmm. And there's one slumped over the wall. Let's see what he has in his pockets. Five, so that's seventeen silvers this time. Almost the cost of a vigor potion. So then I might just as well run. And also I could rest a bit. 
to regain some of my lost health. Since I'm almost out of stamina, I can rest quite a few times. Like so. Well, I got, got like four hit points back. But now I have some magic points too, so I can cast Flame Dart a few times just to practice me magic. Just to practice me magic! There we go. And I can rest again. Can I? Yes, I can cast. Oops. Cast one more flame dart, and we'll see how much. Okay, so our skill with flame dart has risen to 17. Uh, and as you can remember, we started from 5, so that's 12 points gained. Also, you can see that our experience has risen a bit, and our weapon use has gone up, which is nice. Uh, weapon use is actually used to determine if you hit the monster or not. And um, I think agility might play a role in it, but I think agility is most used to determine uh, if you can climb stuff or if you can hit stuff with uh, thrown weapons. And it's also used to count how many stamina points you have. It's like a... I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's like a strength plus agility plus vitality divided by something. Uh, and that determines the amount of your stamina points. Hmm. So, what time is it? Sunset approaches. Uh, and now actually might be a good time to... Uh, Go visit the town during the night, because there's still stuff to do there. And also we might want to uh, visit the fairies, if we have time for that. Mm. But since we can't rest anymore, no. I'll just pick up some rocks. Oh, take rocks. Oh, <laughs> The one screen where there's no rocks, okay, we'll go into the forest. There should be plenty of rocks here. There we go. And this is to train up our throwing skills. Since we'll be needing those in a while. Okay. I just keep throwing these. This is mostly to pass the time since um, I want to enter the, the town t during the night, and it's very, very tedious to just wait around there for night to come. So, if I rest, it comes faster. Throw them rocks. You don't have any rocks. Um, throwing 60. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly getting there. Sunset approaches. So we take up a few more rocks, that's 30, and we start throwing them around. This uh, also has an impact in our agility score, and since we're using stamina, our vitality. And vitality is important because it determines how many hit points we have and how much our maximum stamina is. Uh, the maximum for both hit points and stamina in this game is 100, and we're quite uh, quite a few ways from there still. Mm, we have 41 hit points and 50 stamina, and our throwing went up again. And now we can cast the flame dart. Yeah, boom! And then we can... No, we cannot rest. Hmm. I wonder. I still have to take it some rocks, maybe 40 will do it. Throw rock. Um, so yeah, basically you could just wait out for night to come, but you might as well do something uh, to raise your skills while waiting to do that. So, here we are, throwing rocks. Again. Um, Yes, it, some might call this one of the more tedious aspects of the game, since you have actually nothing to hit with, hit, uh, with rocks. But it's just one of those quirky moments, 
and some have criticized this game for just this, but I find that it adds an element of uh, role-playing and action into the game. Can I rest now? 10 minutes? Yes. And sunset approaches. God. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I use more stamina if I pick up so many rocks that I'm starting to get encumbered. There we go. Don't want to take too much because I don't want to lose any health due to it. Oh, and we can cast the flame dart. Boom. Pro rock. And right now we should be using both our health points and our stamina points because we're overburdened. And <clears throat> the drain on your health points increases considerably if you run out of stamina. And it gives you a message. Everything uh, You're so exhausted that everything you do hurts. And that's a good sign to actually stop doing what it is you're doing and get some rest. Mm, nope. Not losing too much health. So we keep on throwing rocks. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's gotta be like a bunch of very annoyed squirrels there up in the trees since I'm throwing rocks at them. And I don't know if... I always found it funny <clears throat> that if you sneak around in the forest, eventually there's a monster who comes, Oh, hey, you're in my forest and starts chasing you. But nobody seems to mind that you've been in this spot for like quite a while doing nothing but throwing rocks. Still sunset approaches. Okay, um, I'm getting so skilled in throwing it seems that I am not using much of my stamina points. Which is kind of why I started doing this so I might as well practice something else that drains more stamina out of me. Um, yeah, this is a good spot I think. Um, this tree, remember this tree? There was a bird's nest uh, up there up until episode 2 when we brutally knocked it down by throwing rocks. But you can also climb this tree. And then you can... You're already up in the tree. Okay, climb down. Climb tree. Climb in the tree. Climb tree and climb down. Climb tree, climb down, climb tree, and lather, rinse, and repeat. Let's see how that... Yeah, we're using up quite a bit more stamina this way, it seems. Climb tree, climb down, climb tree, climb down. What goes up must come down. Hero goes up. Hero comes down. There we go. And we also raised our agility. And of course climbing. Now we can rest. Yes, 20, 30, 30 minutes. Ah, the night is still young. That's what we're waiting for. So now we can just sneak into the town and since we practice our climbing we should be doing this climb gate in one go yes there we go hmm okay so um, now we're in a spot to use one of the sneakiest aspects of the game um, many people have actually missed this part since uh, they're playing the game illegally. They don't have the manual for it. Uh, it says in the manual that the thieves have a thief sign that they can actually show to other thieves to let them know they're thieves. Makes sense. However, you when you look in your inventory, uh, your inventory, you don't see there being any sign or a badge for being a thief. Well, that's because it's uh, a set of gestures. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's like you rub your stomach and you like uh, 
fiddle around with your hair or something or tickle your ear or whatnot and yes the manual states that all thieves can do this but unless you have the manual you probably don't know that and only the thief can do this uh, it doesn't matter if the other characters have uh, thief abilities in this game at least unless you're a thief you cannot do this and you shouldn't do this because oh well you'll see we enter this dark alleyway Ooh, the place seems sinister at night and there's something glowing in the alley there hmm. you just see a glint it looks like a gold coin doesn't it well when you come closer boom yeah two thieves yeah the coin light spell gets them every time see that dagger the next one is centered on your back give snake there all your cash and you walk out of here it's a simple trade your life for your money yeah their names are slink and sneak okay now I can show thief sign you mean to say that the first customer we've had in months is a fellow thief and here I thought we were going to make some money okay so now they tell me to uh, enter the thieves guild and get our license and uh, we need the license to actually uh, thieve or we don't need it to steal stuff but we need it to fence stuff around this town <laughs> and the password is Ach du Liebe. Hmm, a Wolfenstein reference, anyone? Okay, so now we got the password, and next episode. Oh, yeah, maybe I can ask them their names. Okay, we better just save and. Uh, and. Uh, next time we will use that password to our advantage but that also means that the episode is ending so thank you for watching oh crap oh crikey yeah you shouldn't you really shouldn't test the patience of thieves so next episode we'll restore and get the hell out of this alley before we get killed so thank you for watching and join us again on Quest for Glory, so you want to be a hero.